Welcome back to the Fit Minute Podcast, Fitness for Real People. I'm your host, Gabby Mazar, and on today's episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about rest. Now, I think we think that rest is being lazy or not doing something, but when you're resting, you're really taking the time to take care of yourself and take care of your body, and it gives you energy to complete the things that you want or need to get done. And with the fast-paced society and jobs and kids and families and, and everything that we do in our daily lives, I think we forget to take the time to really take care of ourselves. So whatever it is you do to rejuvenate. So get a massage or yoga classes or just taking a day off or going for a walk. Um, I think it's really important to understand that building in those times to rest and take care of yourself is super important. For me, uh, I used to work with a business coach. I do work with a business coach. And when I first started working with him, I told him, you know, I, I'm not working enough. I'm not busy enough. I'm not doing enough. And, you know, I take naps in the afternoon and do all these things that I shouldn't be doing. And he's like, why do you think that these are things you shouldn't be doing? And, you know, I felt like I was being lazy. And he's like, you need these times to take care of yourself. So my afternoon naps are my thing. I take naps pretty much, I don't know, most days. If it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Um, But I work in the mornings and then I take clients in the evening. So my afternoon, mid-afternoon lull is my time to kind of rejuvenate myself. So I'll go to work in the morning, I'll do my workout, I'll come home, I'll eat lunch, I'll take a nap. And I felt like that was just, I don't know, lazy. And really, that's my time to kind of rejuvenate myself so that I can finish the rest of my day. You know, there's some nights that I work until, you know, 8, 8.30, and then I have to be up in the morning at, you know, 6 and go back to work to be at work at 7. So those are things that I need to do to take care of myself. And I wanted to talk about a little bit of uh, a couple weeks ago, I had somebody ask me things that I do for energy. And... Um, a couple of pointers that I had. One, I don't drink ca- caffeine in the afternoon. So I think a lot of us drink coffee all day long or drink soda all day long, and then we have trouble sleeping. So if you're not drinking caffeine in the afternoon, it can help you to have better restful sleep in the evening. Um, another thing I started doing this year was meditations. And I really feel like meditations have been helping me to sleep better, reduce my stress, um, just kind of unwind in the evening. If you're like me and you're a person that thinks a lot and when you lie in bed, you just start thinking, your mind starts going. What I've tried to shift in my behavior is doing these meditations in the evenings to kind of clear my mind, let myself breathe, take deep breaths and just relax and stop thinking about the eight bajillion things that I have to do the next day or the, you know, 20 bajillion things I didn't get done today because I took my nap instead of doing those 20 million things. But another thing I try to do for energy is exercise. Obviously, I mean, exercise is huge. You know, it helps to release endorphins, it helps to reduce stress, it helps to make you feel better about yourself and then you can get more restful sleep and if you get restful sleep, you wake up more rejuvenated in the morning. And um, my last podcast was about having kids or pregnancy and how you stay fit and healthy with kids and talking to her, we talked about how her life is so very different and she didn't have the time to take care of herself. And when she spoke to her therapist, her therapist was telling her, you need to take an hour and just concentrate on yourself. Whatever that hour is, take care of yourself. And I know, you know, when you have kids and a family, kind of the last thing you think about is taking care of yourself or having that hour to yourself because it's very difficult. And especially if your kids are a little bit older and have sports and after school programs and whatever, everything else just kind of falls to the wayside and you're tired. Um, But just taking 
that time to really concentrate on yourself, whatever it may be, even if it's 20 minutes, you have that time to rest, to rejuvenate, to be able to do all the other things that you can do. Uh, on one of my previous podcasts, one of my guests what, talked about how she told her husband, I have an hour. I want this hour. It is for me. It's for me to work out. It's for me to exercise. Do not call me. Do not come in here unless the house is burning down. <laughs> and that was the time that she needed to have for herself to exercise, to feel better, and to just be with herself. And it's not being selfish. It's taking care of yourself so that you can take care of all the other things that you need to do in life. So rest is a thing. (laughs) It's a thing we need. And if you feel like you're being lazy, you're not. You're not being lazy. You're just allowing yourself time to feel better, to de-stress, to decompress, and doing all of those things will give you more energy in the long run. So take care of yourself. If you need, go work out, get a massage, go to a yoga class. If you don't like yoga or anything like that, just go for a walk, go to the park, sit in the park in in the quiet and watch the birds fly by. Uh, Gardening is another thing that I do to kind of de-stress, and I love it. To me, that is a huge, huge de-stressor because I walk out there and I see my trees blowing in the wind and my garden growing and you get your hands in the dirt and it just feels good. So find something that, that makes you feel better, that fills your cup, that fills your soul, that gives you a little rest and relief and do it. So that's my podcast for today and we'll see you hopefully next week. Thanks.